So in this video, we're busting out the dance footage and we're creating a promo right here instead of After Effects. There's a lot of uses for these type of techniques. So maybe you're putting together an intro, you know, you wanna do some little quick advertising with you know titles and motion graphics, no problem at all. These three techniques are gonna show you some really cool, quick and clean ways to put together you know a lot of information in a really clean style. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone is doing awesome today. So we're breaking this tutorial down into three easy steps. You know what we're creating. So we're gonna jump into our tutorial and we're gonna get started. All right, so here we are inside of After Effects and we're gonna break down each of these slides as individual techniques. So in our first technique, we're gonna be able to create this little title sequence and then it'll start flowing into the next slide. So this entire tutorial is all about flow of information and moving on, you know, bringing in you know new video clips and all that. So a lot of cool techniques in this video. So here we are in our tutorial composition. All we have in here is a video clip and some titles. We went with the dance footage as you can see. Um, but we already have our title in here, so type out your title is the first thing you should do. And to start animating, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab uh, the pen tool here and we're gonna click on the word fill, set it to none and click OK. Click on the word stroke and set it to solid color. And all we're gonna do is click a point, hold down shift on our keyboard and draw a straight line across. Okay, you come here to the stroke width here at the top and you can expand this. We wanna make this rather kind of thick, okay? And we'll bring this shape layer underneath our title layer. So you can see that you know looks really good on top of each other, nice compositing there. And you come here to your line tab and you can make sure that this is centered up. So right there, centered it up. So all that is beautiful. Okay, so what we wanna do here is animate this line to reveal on the text and animate together. So we'll open up our shape layer, come here to the word add, click on the little uh, you know arrow icon and add a trim paths. Open up trim paths one and all we're gonna do is we're going to bring the end percent down to 0% and we'll add a keyframe for start and we'll move forward in time maybe by a half a second or so maybe almost a second it says it's the start up to 100 percent and then what we're going to do is take both these keyframes hit f9 on our keyboard to make them easy easy keyframes come into graph editor we'll select these points down here and we'll drag out the handles just like this you know bring them all the way in and this is going to create a very unique animation like that and that's beautiful so now all we're gonna do is take our shape layer here, we can rename it to line one, and we're gonna go to edit, duplicate, and we'll bring our line, duplicate the line above our title layer. And what we're gonna do is we'll toggle switch the modes until we see the track mat, and set the track mat for our title layer to alpha mat. So what's gonna happen now, no title, boom, gets revealed on. And that's really what's important. So now this gives us a great opportunity for us to duplicate or create more copies of our title. So I'll take all of our title layers and I'll duplicate them. I'll go ahead and just bring them up in our timeline and I can simply just bring it down. So now we have another title block for us to, you know, change out our title. You know, that's great. And then I can do it one more time. All right, so now we'll have our titles all revealing on here. So you have as many as you want, but we don't want these to come in at the same exact time. You know, one thing I would like to do here is kind of stagger this animation. So what we'll do is take our middle line layers here, like this one right here. We'll go up to layer, transform, and we'll grab flip horizontal. And what's going to happen, that's going to reveal on from the other side. So now all we have to do is take our layers here and stagger them in time. So now boom, you'll have each line coming in at a different time. And that's how you can put something very quick together with our title sequence. And when everything is said and done, you could toggle switch modes, turn on motion blur and pre-compose all of our layers by going to layer pre-compose. I'll call it just one, click OK. So now we have the first part of our sequence ready to go and we can start building out our promo video or whatever video you're working on. Uh, even further. And before we move into our next promo technique, I want to give a huge shout out to our 650 Motion Graphics Starter Pack extension right here for After Effects. All right, so this is our Motion Graphics Starter Pack extension with 650 templates. We have motion graphics in here, animated background templates, social media animations, shape transitions, and of course, titles. And how this works is we can come through here, preview anything that we want to apply before we apply it. And when we find a template that we want, we just click on apply. And it automatically applies a full template into your current After Effects project. And we go into this template and for example, change out our titles really quick. And we have our control layer here, which allows us to make changes to adjust the titles and colors to everything to fit perfectly, however we see fit. And if we want, we can easily change the colors of everything. 
and it automatically updates in our main composition. And we can take this even further with our accent motion graphics. We have over 160 of these in this pack and we'll come here to clusters for example and we'll apply a cluster. So now with a few clicks of a button we now have a full title animation here along with some accent graphics that help spruce up our composition and whatever we're working on. So a lot of options just in this one pack and we have a handful of other packs that allow you to switch over to them very easily so you can pick up more titles, animated backgrounds, um, and more off our website. So if you're looking to produce awesome work while obviously saving a tremendous amount of time within a few clicks, you can check out our Motion Graphics Starter Pack along for other packs off our website. I will link it below. If you do pick up anything off our website, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. All right, this next technique is very easy to do, but once again, we're keeping things fast and you know we're gonna do a little bit of creative you know, animation to our titles and also uh, video. So here we are, we already have a title and another video you know, ready to go here. And first of all, let's go ahead and animate our title. All we want to do is just be able to keep things flowing and moving. So we'll open up our title layer, we'll come here to animate, and we're just going to add a tracking to this. And I love what we're about to do here. So what we can do is kind of, you know, crunch this up to the negative value where all the title is like this. And all we're going to do is, you know, maybe we'll move forward here by a little bit and we'll add a keyframe for tracking amount and move forward by one frame. And we'll go ahead and open this up by a little bit. Okay, and we'll have that stay static for a little bit. We'll move forward again, add another keyframe, move forward by one frame, and we'll continue to open this up. And this will allow this to kind of like jump in different phases. And it's really nice, little cool, subtle technique. And if you do this a couple times, you'll have like this nice little jumping animation, and it looks really cool. And then one thing we'll do is we'll hit Astron keyboard for scale, and we'll add a keyframe for this. We'll move forward in time to the end of our animation, and we'll just go ahead and scale this down. So now we'll just have this overall very subtle title animation, and by itself, this wouldn't actually look that good, but with the right music, and what we're about to do is just gonna help take this to the next level. So what we're gonna do here is we'll take our title layer and video layer, if you have one, and we'll go to edit split layer. All right, awesome. And what we're gonna do is take our video layer and put it right underneath our title layer and we'll toggle switch the modes until you see the track mat and for the video layer, set the track mat to alpha mat. Okay, and that's gonna allow the video to be inside the title and that's exactly what we want. And then what we'll do is go to uh, layer new solid and you make it a white solid and click okay. And we'll just put this underneath everything and we'll drag in the endpoint to be at that cut. So boom, video, animation, and there it is. So that is really cool. And then what we can do is take all of our layers here and once again, pre-compose it. And we'll just kind of match this up perfectly with our other video here. So right when that title comes in, we'll move on to the next slide. So boom, first slide comes in, goes to the second slide, and then we'll do the third slide. And you see how this all starts kind of rolling together and the motion is just beautiful. All right, so for our third and final technique, it's very simple and also very effective. We're gonna keep the motion going uh, with this very easy title animation along with this little slight flick that we'll create for the transition between these two. So we're here and we have a title layer again in our new video clip here in our you know timeline. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab the rectangle tool this time. Make sure you click on the word fill, set the solid color, and you can turn off the stroke here at the top. And just draw out a box, you know, white box, whatever color palette you want to go for, and put it underneath your title layer. Okay? And this time what we're going to do is we'll open up rectangle 1, come into rectangle path 1, and break the chain for size. And all we're going to do is add a keyframe for size and move that keyframe forward in time, maybe to half a second to almost a second. Set the X size down to zero. Make both of these keyframes easy, easy keyframe. And we're gonna have this animation here, but after this you know, reveals on, I want this to kind of open up even more for the previous tracking technique that we just applied to keep you know the animations consistent, right? So what we'll do is once this opens up, I want this to kind of open up a little bit more. So we'll go ahead and increase the size, the X size by a touch. So what happens here opens up and then it expands open. And that's exactly what I want here. So what we're going to do here is take the shape layer and we're going to duplicate it, bring it above our title layer, and we'll set the track map of our title layer to alpha mat. So once again, this will be revealed on and that's beautiful. So then what we'll do is come here to our title layer, go back to the animate tab and we'll add a tracking to this. Okay. And as before, we'll add a keyframe for tracking, go to that last keyframe that we created and just have the tracking, you know, expand outward and we can make those easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. So now we should have something like this and you know that's pretty cool very subtle technique you know especially when things are going fast uh, but we did this even further and what i want to do here is duplicate our title layer here and we'll keep it at the top for now and what i want to do is pre-compose our title layer that we just duplicated and then when that's pre-composed i want to go into that composition 
and what we'll do here is we'll go to uh, composition, composition settings, and what we're gonna do is bring in the width and the height here just to be surrounding our title kind of like this. That's fine. Click OK. Go back into our main composition and we'll go to effect, stylize, and we'll grab motion tile. We'll go ahead and expand. And what we'll do is come here to the beginning of our timeline and we'll go come here to uh, output height and set that down to zero and add a keyframe for that. And we'll move forward in time, maybe by a second, and we'll set the output height to cover up our entire composition like this. I also changed our title to white as well. And what we'll do is hit S on keyboard for scale, and we can scale this up like that if we want. And we'll bring this layer just underneath everything, like right above our video layer. And we'll set our blend mode to soft light, and that will blend on our footage very beautifully. So now we'll have this animation that works completely together, and that's nice. So as before, we'll grab all of our layers, we'll pre-compose it, call it three. You know, time it up in our timeline correctly. So now, boom, that comes on just like that. But I want to add just like a nice little flick transition here. So what we'll do is go to layer, new adjustment layer, go to effect, stylize, and we'll grab motion tile. And we'll come here right to the cut. And all we're going to do is a little bit before the cut, add a keyframe for tile center, move past the cut by a little bit, and just kind of come into the Y position and just slide this up by one slide. So you'll see it'll move up. And we just want to kind of match that exactly where it should be. So negative 540. And make sure you turn on motion blur for all your layers. And as before, you can make both of these keyframes easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on your keyboard. So now you'll have this very subtle transition between the two different clips here. And that is really cool. All right, when everything's said and done, we're able to put together this really quick, you know, promo video of all these very simple title animations, but all together with the flow, it just looks very professional. And you can keep adding on to this, but with these three techniques, you should be able to get a lot going uh, for your work. And there's a ton of other techniques available out there. So be sure to check out our other videos on this topic. So that is our tutorial on these three promo slides techniques right here instead of After Effects. There's a lot of different ways to create this type of stuff. So remember, you can check out our tutorials uh, on our channel and I'll link a couple in the description if you want to watch more. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below and always be creating.